Hello, I'm Atuba George and I bless God for this opportunity to bring his truth to you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we bless you. Your word is truth. And we're excited for what you're doing in our lives and in our day. Thank you, Jesus. You have given us your spirit who is to guide us in all things. And we trust his guidance daily. Leading us into all truth. So we will never walk in a lie. Therefore, I declare right now, burdens are being lifted. Yokes are being destroyed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, I was sharing something amazing with you yesterday. What was I telling you? He said the anointing that you have received from him is your teacher. That word anointing is actually referring to the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus said he will teach you all things. That's the one you should wait for. Jesus said it's better for you that I go so that he will come. Because he's the one that will do the teaching. And I've explained to you the way he does the teaching is this. He takes us through experiences see and when we go through them we're like what's going on here then the holy ghost begins to teach hey son this is what happened yesterday and and, and i'll tell you something about these teachings when he teaches you're like whoa then he begins to show you even in scriptures now that's the way we know scriptures <laughs> i'm telling you we don't know scriptures by going to read commentaries and commentaries and commentaries. no 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 we know scriptures when he leads us through it he said hey you remember what i said in yeah whoa <laughs> yes now it makes sense what did he do he brought you into fellowship with that word that's what he did so now you know it beyond a shadow of doubt not because somebody explained it to you now you see it i pray that becomes your experience in the name of the lord jesus truth is it's yours but you see, when you don't cultivate it, when you keep spending your time running from pillar to post, running from one preacher to the other preacher, ah, this man teaches better. No, today, no, this one, you end up being in confusion. I'm telling you, you know, it's not about the preachers, it's about you. You haven't found your place yet. It's good to have pastors. Yes, but listen to me. Your pastor is supposed to bring forth testimonies to you. Your pastor should be a living witness that the word of God is true and it's working. You understand what I'm saying? He should be a living witness to it. So God has not called us to dull pastoring say, because he went to pastoral school. So he's now authorized to pastor you. And then where is his testimony in Christ? Nothing. Where, where, where is this witnessing for Christ? Nothing. Witnessing is not carrying your Bible and going from street to street. We are witnessing Jesus. No, witnessing is living a life that shows that these things written in scripture, it is true. That is what to be a witness. What it means to be a witness. Your life shows that what is written is true. Your life shows that what God has said he didn't tell a lie. <laughs> Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Mm. Second, first John chapter 2 and verse 28 now. It says, And now, little children, abide in him, that when he appears, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him as his, at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone who practices righteousness is born of him. I'll tell you this. The way you see God is what will influence your dealing with men or the way you see men. If you truly see God as righteous, hey, guess what? You will demand righteousness from men, from yourself and from everyone around you. But if you see God as the one who hey, doesn't really bother about righteousness, then you will accept anything that anybody throws at you. So what you see is really what you get. Praise God. Now let's continue to chapter 3, 1 John chapter 3. I love this now. It says, Behold, 
what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us that we should be called children of God. I read the scripture to you a few days ago in John chapter 10. Jesus speaking, he said, if he called them gods unto whom the word of God came. See? And Jesus was referring there to the book of Psalms. David said, he said in Psalm 82, he says, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. What a beauty. Hmm. What a beauty. <sighs> he said here, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us that we should be called the children of God. That we should be called children of God. Watch this now. It says, therefore, the world does not know us because it did not know him. Hmm. Continue now, verse 2. It says, beloved, now, not tomorrow, not in a sweet by and by, not when we, excuse me, not when we die, not when we die. He said, beloved, now we are children of God. How are we children of God? How do we know we are children of God? Because the word of God is coming to us. Now we are children of God and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. How are we going to be like him? How do we know we're going to be like I'll tell you how we know. Because the same word of God that is given to us is the same word of God that is given to him. So when he comes, we will be speaking the same language. Ah, he came out of Bashaya. Even today, as we grow in him, see, there's something I've always said. As you grow in God, see, you, you have this experience. What experience? Lord, I'm thinking of doing this. What do you think, Lord? I want your wisdom on this. And then you pray, you may fast and pray for weeks, for months. And then finally, God will reveal his wisdom to you. Say, oh, mm, thank you, Lord. I, I received that. I received that. And then you go do it. Now, the more you grow, you grow to that point. Say, Lord, I seek your wisdom. As you're kneeling down to pray, like, oh, yes, yes, thank you, Lord. I've gotten it. Ah, I've gotten it. Thank you, Lord. And then, yeah, it's clear. You go execute it. You will still grow to the point and say, Lord, I think the way to do this thing is like this. And the Lord will say, yes, you're right. That's how I'll do it. See, that's the level of growth. What are you growing into? You're growing into him. So you get to that place where you seek the word of God. Then it comes to you. Then you grow to the place where you and the word of God becomes one. So your mind has been immersed with his truth as he's thinking is the same way you are thinking so you look at an object and both of you are seeing the same thing it says beloved now are we the children of god and it does not yet and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be like but we know that when he is revealed we shall be like what we'll see him as he is and it says and everyone who has this hope in himself purifies himself just as he is pure that's what makes us purify ourselves this is the reason we stay pure why because listen we are not trying to please god so that he will write our name in his book in heaven no our names are already there even before we got born again our names have been written in the book of life praise god that's why we got born again in the first place now then he says we see everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself even as he's pure because we now know that we are one with him we think like him we talk like him we act like him so now that's a life you don't want to miss out that's a life you don't want to turn that life over into iniquity i'm telling you the truth you don't want to so when you see yourself a bit brushing you want to withdraw to retrace your step and say no i'm not following that part i enjoy this the more As for whoever commits sin, 
also commits lawlessness and sin is lawlessness and you know that he was manifested to take away our sins and in him there is no sin whoever abides in him does not sin did you see that why was he manifested to take away our sin has he manifested in your life yes he has manifested in my life why is there still sin in you didn't he take away your sin and you know now we walk on that grace so what we do does not matter you are lying that's also the spirit of the antichrist it's the spirit of the antichrist that what we do doesn't matter to god the spirit of the antichrist you are you are rubbing dirt on christ that's exactly what you're doing because you are denying him the ministry of purifying you So he says, whosoever abides in him does not sin. Whoever, sin has, whoever sins has neither seen him nor known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. I'm not saying this. John is saying it. <laughs> now, now, why should I take the testimony of John very seriously? Because, I told you last week, he was the disciple that lived the longest and they couldn't kill him. In fact, there is no real known testimony of how John died. It's just assumption. But they tried to kill him, they couldn't. So this man must know what he's talking about. Praise God. So he says, little children, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous. Just as he is righteous. He who sins is of the devil. For the devil has seen from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Simple. So the Son of Man, the Son of God was manifested that he would destroy the works of the devil. So he didn't destroy the works of the devil in your life. They were too big or what? Or he destroyed and left some. Say, okay, you can you can enjoy. You know, that's for your leisure time. You can, is that what he did in your life? If he has manifested in your life, then he ought to have destroyed the works of the devil in your life. What's the work of the devil in my life? Sin is the work of the devil. It's as simple as that. If you are, if you say you're in Christ and you're still sinning, it means the work of the devil is still taking place in your life. It means Christ was not made manifest in your life. It's as simple as that. I don't like what you're saying. Then change change repent whoever has been born of god does not sin for his seed remains in him and he cannot sin because he has been born of god watch his life that's what he's saying watch his life now john is writing all these things he's writing he's writing to you to locate yourself and to locate others that's why he says, don't let anybody deceive you. This is what to look out for. You see him sinning, he's not born of God. It's as simple as that. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 10. Maybe we'll stop here. In this, the children of God and the children of the devil are manifest. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor is he who does not love his brother. Simple. This is how you know the children of God and the children of the devil. Watch their lives. They are in church together. They claim they are in church. But this one is sinning. This one is not sinning. Hey, why are you sinning? Ah, no, forget. Oh, it's grace. Grace is at work in me. You, why are you not sinning? Because I have received the life of God in me. You see the difference? This one is of the devil. This one is of God. It's as simple as that. No two ways. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Our time is already up. <laughs> Praise God. Listen, man. The word of God is sweet. Sweeter than honey. I'm telling you the truth. The more you receive it into your heart and you experience it, the more you see even your very flesh begins to change. I'm telling you the truth. You, you, you are there. Oh, I, I, I'm always falling sick. I'm always falling sick. I'll tell you what to do. Open your heart to receive the word of God. I'm not saying read the Bible. Reading the Bible is the starting point, but make sure you get to the place of eating the word of God. See, how do you eat the word of God? By hearing it. Not by reading it, by hearing it. The moment you begin to fellowship by the hearing of the word of God, I'm telling the truth. You don't have to pray, my body, my flesh be healed. You just notice that, oh, 
I've not been sick for two weeks. I've not been sick for two months, for two years, for 20 years. Praise God. Yeah, that's how it works. I'll see you tomorrow. Have the best day ever. Bye-bye.